Well, hello there. And this is Auntie. And I am coming to you with a chat and nightcap talking all things 90 Day Fiance. It seems that um, Yara and Jelvi Christmas tree revealed that there may be a baby on board. Cling, 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 cling. Everybody needs a sweet old auntie. Everybody needs with a whoop whoop and a boop boop. boop. You can make this up. Now you know that these are some crazy motherfuckers. So why? Everybody and we are back. If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. To all of my new subscribers, thank you all so much for joining the family. To all of my nieces and nephews who have been here with me for the long haul, thank you all so much for your continued support. We are almost, we are four years into doing Auntie's Advice, and I am just so grateful that we have been able to maintain our relationship. Tonight is our chat and nightcap part two. I have um, filled up my glass again. <laughs> okay, my um, my cotton freaking wine glass. And we are going to cheers to all things Jovi and Yara who let their Christmas tree spill all their cotton freaking um, beans. All right. Cling, 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 cling. Cheers, y'all. Cling, cling. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this article is coming to us from SoapDirt.com. Y'all know that's where I get most of my reliable tea from, right? <laughs> and um, it seems that the two of them are not only married, but that they also have a little girl, I think. Now, we don't know yet. You know, this is a spoiler. So if you, you know, it's already been spoiled. I mean, the tea has already been sipped, okay? Hmm. So I'm sorry if you did not want to know. A couple of weeks ago, I did a um, a video on not only Yara and Jovi being married, but also Natalie and Mike. And at that time, I had no idea that they were alleging that they had a baby. But it seems like the fans of 90 Day Fiance have absolutely spilled the tea. And there's a lot of tea that is getting spilled on this new cast because they don't know how to do stuff. Now, these, according to SoapDirt.com, these two mofos took a, took a picture <laughs> trying to show off their Christmas tree. But one of the 90 Day Fiance fans zeroed in on that mofo and saw a mom ornament and a baby ornament. So I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to shout out a couple of people in the room. Hello there, Randy Thompson. Hello, Ramona Lusa. Um, Lucy, I'm sorry. Hello, um, Sadie Adler. Hey, Ann Strickland. How you doing, sweetie? Hey, my chocolate thunder. Hey, Crystal W. Hey, Sadie. What's up, boo? Okay. Hey, Amy K. What's up? Happy New Year, everybody. Hello, D. McFarlane and JW. Those are my members. All those people you see with those yellow, um, I mean, those green names on it. Those are the members of Auntie Advice. And we are still taking memberships. So you can go to the homepage if you like, click that join button and become a member of Auntie's Advice. So anyway, I'm going to bring up this article from soapdirt.com and we're just gonna go ahead on and talk about it right <laughs> it says jovi 
and you're a baby daughter born months ago. Oh my goodness, let's get into this. 90 Day Fiance celebrities Jovi and Yara welcome a baby girl into the world in mid-September of 2020, according to info we found. They've kept this news secret from the world, but some signs leaked out anyway. They've left several clues hinting at the arrival of their baby girl. Plus, we know they got hitched months ago as well. Jovi um, talked about how he proposed to his girlfriend, Yara, after finding out that she was pregnant. But Yara had a miscarriage, as they talked about on the show. This resulted in Jovi questioning if he really wants to be with Yara or if he's just trying to rush into marriage. After flying to the United States from Ukraine to be with her fiance, Yara struggles to fit in. She doesn't enjoy living in Louisiana with her fiance and is complaining about it every day damn chance that she gets. Despite the constant fighting between Yara and her husband, Joey, um, who married in on February the 13th of 2020, their wedding was in Vegas as she wanted. But what does that mean for the timeline of their baby daughter? Check it out. Plus all the signs, they're now a family of three. So here we see in this picture, let me blow this up for the people in the back. Let me see if I can blow this up for the people in the back. So here on this particular tree, we see an ornament that has an arrow going to it that is pink with a T arrow on it that says M-O-M. -M. Okay. Now, who would zoom in? Now, granted, this picture originally had her in it, but they cut her out and they zoomed in on this picture. Now here in front of their television on top of their little stand, they have three stockings here. Okay. One, two, and three. <laughs> and then on this picture, one of the people picked up that there's a baby ornament hanging on the tree. Now, you know, we all do our first Christmas pajamas, our first Christmas hat, our first Christmas um, bib, and our first Christmas outfit, and our first Christmas ornament. For all of us that are parents, we know that that's traditional. That's what you got to do, right? So all these three signs, okay, according to a fan, means that there could be a possible baby in the oven. Now, it looks like they're looking at themselves on television. So that's, you know, that's a little arrogant. So Yara loves taking the opportunity to show off her stylish outfits. But when flexing her new duds at Christmas, it looks like the Ukrainian beauty explodes more than she meant to. We already checked out the, um, the, out the images. Okay. You can see above that she posed beside her holiday tree. And just to her left, there's a telltale baby ornament. But that's not the only sign among their Christmas decorations. You can also see another is a pink heart-shaped ornament. And this one in girl color says mom on it. The, the other one on the Christmas tree is a newborn wrapped in a blanket. The child in the ornament wears a pink hat. You can also see their TV with their stocking below it while Yara pretends to be on 90, 90 Day Fiance Pillow Talk and rants about herself. She showed another sign. Why would she and Jovi have three stockings? That adds up to one for Jovi, one for her, and one for their three-month-old daughter. And this isn't the only proof that the family has shown about the three. This right here is a baby registry that somebody <laughs> that somebody pulled up. And I don't know if this is the Amazon wish list, but it says arrival date, September 10th, 2020. Okay. And they have the location um, blurred out Louisiana. And this to me looks like a bib and some cute little passy passy fires. Now it seems all but certain that Jovi and Yara welcomed the little girl a few months ago. While they haven't confirmed this, we don't expect them to. That's because TLC has all 90 Day Fiance stars on a strict non-disclosure agreement. This NDA prevents cast members from revealing spoilers. So that's why they've not shared details on their marriage or the birth 
of their daughter. But in February, Jovi married her. They brought their child into the world in September. It's likely that Jovi and Yara got pregnant a little while before their Vegas wedding. And you can note above their child's arrival is further collaborated by Zara's baby registry for a little girl. We verified that the registry does belong to Yara and that it contains items for girls. The registry also confirms the due date as September 2020, so we'll have to keep watching for whether they break the pregnancy news during the season. But we'd expect them to since Zara was pregnant before their February wedding in Sin City. Check back at SoapDirt.com if you want to get some cotton freaking mo tea from them. Thank you so much, Amy Garcia, for the $5 the cash app. Hey, Auntie, you're looking fabulous. May your 2021 aspirations come to fruition. Thank you so much. It's already started. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did I have any more? I wanted, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anybody. Oh my God. So it looks like the two of them are married. So what I'm going to do. Um, this is the first time I've done this on this channel in a minute, okay? I am going to put the um, the link in, and if you all want to come in and talk about that tea or any other tea as I drink my tea, clink, 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 okay? Come on in. So I'm going to put it in here one time only. One time only. <laughs> If you want to come in and you want to talk about this or any other couple, um, on 90 day fiance, I just have to say that the, I, I'm telling you, I have repeated this over and over again. The fans of 90 day fiance will spill your tea for you, boo. Okay. They will clock your tea. And the thing about it is, you know, we all know that this is filmed like maybe sometimes a year ahead of time. And so we know that we're going to, you know, find out different things. But what they have to do is be wise. If you want to show out your fashion, go out front <laughs> of your apartment building or on a plain wall and do what you do. Because people are always looking into your window trying to find out what the hell is going on with your ass, right? Right? And so you have to be very careful about what you're revealing, especially when you have a non-disclosure agreement. And I don't know um, if they do have um, anything in there about pictures or about, you know, accidentally revealing stuff. I don't know whether or not they're going to get fired or they're going to get that check. But the news is out there, and once soap dirt and all of them get a hold of the news, it ain't nothing you could do. About it. <laughs> it's nothing that um you could do about it, right? It's already out there. They're always looking. I mean, these people, you know, um, follow them on Instagram and on other every other social media platform that they find themselves on. So they just really got to be careful. I'm actually happy for them if this is what they decided to do. Thank you so much, Slim, for the $4.99 super chat. Hey, Auntie, love seeing the little illustration up there. Thank you, boo. Thank you. You did it. This young lady right here. is the one who created that illustration that is up there thank you so much boogie she designed that for me based on one of the pictures that um that i had um i don't know if i yeah i, I think i had it as a picture um but she designed that for me i would love for you to come on and talk about that if you want to the link is down there um, in the description bar. I mean, it's in the um, chat. Let me see. I would love to shout you out. And love for everybody to see you. I think that when y'all come on here, y'all come on here, y'all jammy jam jams. And then y'all don't want to come on here with y'all auntie, but y'all gonna have to get that together, ladies. You got this, you got to stay ready 
so you ain't got to get bratty, okay? Uh, Rock says, see, you need a new one because you skinny now, auntie. You know what? Let me tell you something. Mary said the same thing. To me, I, you know, I, the only way that I know that I've lost weight is because um, of my clothes. Like all my clothes are too big on me. Um, I'm not in the window and all of that kind of, I mean, you know, in the mirror and all that kind of stuff looking. But when I put my clothes on and they drooping on my ass, <laughs> that's when I realized like, okay, you have really, really, really lost some weight but slim i would um she says i'm too shy but thank you auntie and everyone okay boo well you know anytime you want to come on and you want to talk about it and you want you know everybody to see you that's fine with me but i thank you so much i love it and like mary mary said the same thing auntie you got to get rid of it you not <laughs> You're not that size anymore, but I love it so much. So you may have to do one of me now with all of this weight loss, okay? Because I know I'm like, um, golly, 60? I ain't even keeping up with it. <laughs> like 60 some pounds down. So it is to study, um, Oh, thank you, Stephanie Lucas. But anyway, y'all, um, so that is, I guess, the end of my review. I wanted somebody to come on and see if y'all wanted to come on and share the platform with me. But y'all too shy to do that. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do the phone lines. Because when I had the phone lines, y'all would call me. Uh, but I wasn't good with it. I'm not good with technology. But I am learning for 20 21. Oh, I got okay. So I got somebody that bit the bait. Come on in here, girl. Hey, Hi, Rachel. let me see here. Mike's all messed up here. You're kind of better. And you gotta be still because I got a couple of subscribers who have um epilepsy, they have seizures from the movement. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Can nope. you hear me? Uh oh. Can you hear me? Take your time. Okay, I told you I was going to come on sometime, so my hair is not in rollers today. <laughs> oh, how are you? Right now? This is the first time seeing you. Yeah, well, no, we've seen each other before, but it's been a while. When you first oh, got your goodness. little stream yard set up. Oh, my goodness. You see the little stream yard. I know that. <laughs> Let me see, Indian style girl. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm back home. My mom is better, so I'm, I'm good. finally back home. Good. So. so, what do you think about Yar and Jovi? Or did you call you, it a talk? You got a wine glass. You got a glass or something? We gonna cheer? Oh, I don't. I don't. I was just. I just finished some tea. Come on, get <laughs> it is. Come on, honey. We gonna clink clink with that. Come on, clink clink. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, we'll do that. Wherever it went, I can't find my string. There we go. I there have some go. tea too. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of getting a little frustrating with 90 Day with uh, us finding out the storyline before before we even finish seeing the the episodes. It's right. Kinda get, it, it's really starting to get a little boring. Would you prefer me not spill the tea? Oh, no, 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 because you're not spilling the tea. So you're getting it from someplace else that I've already spilled. <laughs> <laughs> now you right about that. That is so, so true. Yeah, it's kind of like, okay, can we at least get through at least one, um, you know, get through the whole series here before we start finding out where everybody is? And that's just not happening anymore. No way. Not with the 90 Day Fiance fans. We would never, ever get past because they open up, you know, they create these Instagram accounts and they open it up and, you know, they come out and try to justify means or try to, you know, say something about, you know, or defend themselves and they reveal tea and all of that. So maybe they should really keep them off of Instagram 
off of social media until the season is over. Because I'm going to tell you, I get sick of hearing from Rebecca always trying to defend herself <laughs> after every fucking episode. <laughs> Yes, it's getting old. It is getting old. Come on, Rebecca. Yes. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't have get you it. signed up for the Discovery um, Plus? I have not. I'm I'm one of those that don't even have Netflix. So so it's easy for me to just not do Discovery Plus. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to give you my passcode. <laughs> <laughs> People don't believe that. You don't have Netflix? No, I don't have Netflix. Honey, we share passcodes. <laughs> okay, passcodes of Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus. I like, do have now. I do have Disney Plus because I wanted to see Hamilton. Oh, was it good? Yes, yes. And I still, when they come back and start doing live performances again, I really want to see a live performance. So yeah, it was I worth it for me to do that. That's gonna be about twenty twenty four. Yes, I know. Especially here. Oh, honey, we 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 have issues here in California. We are having issues. Yes. Well, you you in Cali? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm, I, I'm in LA, and it's it is it is not good. It is very bad right now. How's the weather? Weather's fine. It was in the uh, 60s, in the uh, low 70s today. Wow. We, my mom said it's going to be in the 80s next week. I didn't see that, but that's oh. our job to watch the weather. We in a winter, honey, and we just we just starting it. Well, I'm a Chicago girl, so I don't I don't miss. That's one thing I don't miss is the snow. I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. Because, honey, let me tell you, we got a little sprinkle, a little doodad. And I was in the grocery store. I thought I think I, the deep freezer is overflowing. The refrigerator and the freezer part is up. My daughter was like, don't buy nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't get nothing but a sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been like that for years. So in, anything else you want to talk about about the 90 Day Fiance cast? No, I think we're going to continue to find out what's going on with everybody. How many of them are already married that we done found? Three? Is it three what? of them? Two. Mike and, Mike and Natalie. Ziad and Rebecca, aren't they married? Oh, yeah. Okay, and now uh, these two, yeah. Yara. It's just at the thing. So we haven't heard anything about Brandon being married to Julia, but I'm sure they probably, if they look deep enough, they probably married too. <laughs> well, they got to get off the farm. <laughs> I would love to see her. Let me see this stuff. I would love to see her, honey, in Dulles Airport because that's our international airport, you know, in this area. Right. I would love to see her at Dulles Airport leave his ass. I'm not <laughs> kidding. Well, he would have some money if he wasn't buying all that protein powder that he had on. Did you see oh, an entire bookshelf full of protein powders? No, you You have to go back and look at the <laughs> last episode when he was in his room before they went to dinner. When she, he came home and went straight into his room and she came into his room and he was at the closet. It's right next to his closet. And it's just shelves full of these big jars of protein powder. <laughs> what? I, yep. didn't, I missed that. Now, I don't miss that much. <laughs> but I damn sure miss that. I don't know what he's taking it for, but he's taking it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, and mom needs to go stay in her lane. Mom is too out of bounds. Do you think some of that's scripted, though? I do believe some of it is scripted, but I also think that she loves her son way too much. Mm -hmm. She needs to let him grow up. Mm -hmm. She needs to let him grow up. He, he's, I agree. he's, you know, he's not her child anymore. And he may have to move out for that to happen, but he has to grow up and be a man. That's true. That's true. But I think that they know what condition they coming in under. I looked at um one of the previews and I, and that damn what is his damn name? Is his name Andrew and Amara? Uh the one that got the girl stuck over there in damn oh, Mexico. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's got <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> and he had to call her damn father because she ain't came back. She ain't got out mm -hmm. of Mexico yet. See, that's, that's what he get for believing something that somebody yeah, posted on Facebook. Facebook. 
Them kids on the internet playing games. Ain't nobody came through no damn Mexico. She she didn't have the right answers to immigration's questions. That's why she got stopped. You think so? Oh yeah. You know they want to know where you going, where you staying. You know how long you gonna be there? She had none of those answers. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no, something is not right here. You staying right here. And you know what the thing about it? You know, Dagon Will, she had a camera crew with her. And that probably put the spotlight on her ass. Mm -hmm. Because and she had why a, cold, a cold camera crew, TLC. I'm filming for TLC. They probably was like, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> why, why didn't uh, he fly her directly to where he was? What was that? And it may have been it may have been the route that she took coming. Then he from. should then he should have flew there. He should have flew there. Oh, you mean there. Mexico City? Yeah. Probably so. He probably cheaper than come on, he's just a I mean, he's a babysitter. <laughs> and then he's always looking all sweaty and hot. <laughs> you know, when you watch him, you got to, you know, you got to you got to find, you know, you gotta be looking around like this. You know, find something to fat your ass with. He just look like the hardest. Just be like, damn, he making me. <laughs> I think we're gonna find that he has some control issues. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because our father don't like him. Mm-hmm. And you know, your parents can sniff him out. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Before they even hit the door, you can tell from the conversations you be sniffing and smelling stuff through the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Be talking about daddy, daughter. Who are you talking to? Because my daughter daddy, daddy knows. Yeah. Yeah, they know. Yes, mm -hmm. they know. So let me ask you a question while you're here. What mm -hmm. is the favorite, the um uh, the favorite thing or the favorite show that you like me to review? Oh, the 600 pound. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, auntie. Sorry. That was funny as hell. And the thousand pounds. <laughs> oh, my God. I was rolling on the floor. My mother's like, what are you watching? Because I was still at her house. <laughs> and I was just rolling. Which that one? Was, Stephanie? Both of them. What? Both of them. <laughs> both of them. Were you watching the show before I start reviewing it? Uh, the one, the 600 pound, I was, I had started watching it just before you started reviewing it. So it was, you were running tandem, right? You know, you were like coming up to the point that I had just seen. So I was like, okay, okay. Now I can see what she's talking about. The other one I watched afterwards. Okay. The thousand pound I saw afterwards. Okay. You know, I'm at my, I was at my mom's house and so she don't have all these channels and things. So, and, and I let her watch whatever she wants on her television. It's her house. Oh, that's so. <laughs> yeah, so what show would it. you like to see me um do? Hmm. That I don't do. I'm, I actually have not watched the, the, um, the little women. So I'm interested to, to see that. I've never watched that at all. So oh, I'd, I'd be, be interested in your review on, on that. Um, I'll be reading their little asses. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you and I had previously before Salt Lake City came on, we talked about Salt Lake City, but I, uh, I don't like it. I couldn't. I'm having a hard time. That's, that is not, it, it's disappointing. It's it disappointing. is so damn disappointing. It just was so boring and scripted and fake. And the woman walking around with the daggone sandals on in the wintertime. I just was, I couldn't do this bull. Then you got crazy ass Mary who married her daggone grandfather. And, and she just, I call, I call her the, um, what do I call her? The designer whore. And, and she always looks a hot mess. Cause she just mixed that stuff up just any kind of way. And she just looks a hot mess. And Lord, if somebody don't go buy her a decent wig, I'm just going to die. Okay. I mean, she, she just, she needs some new hats for real. For I real, just, real. I just didn't like it. I didn't like, yeah, and I didn't I like the Mormon stuff and that kept coming up. And I was just like, you know what? I can't do this. What about the other one that I did? Um, um, the something collective. Are you gonna be watching that? Oh yeah, on Saturdays. Yes. Yes. You are yes, yes. Every other that? Saturday. Uh-huh. Okay. As long as I'm long as I'm around, you know, sometimes I don't get notifications or I don't see them, 
but I try to catch everything. I'll jump out of somebody else's room to come in yours. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So what YouTubers do you watch? I watch, well, I'm actually have uh, Emily Baker right on right now, the law nerds, because I've been, in, I've been learning some stuff. And uh, so I've been watching Emily Baker and uh, of course, Sherelle, that's my girl. She she has some issues sometimes. That's still my girl though. And Perry and Geo. I see you popping in the Geo's page from time to time. I love Geo. Oh, they he's such a nice guy. He, he you know what, is. Auntie? He his birthday uh is two days before mine. Uh -huh. And he uh actually did a video chat with me for on my birthday, which was such a surprise. Oh my you goodness. know, because I've never gone live on any of their shows. I'm one of those that's so hanging out in the chat. I love hanging out in the chat and having fun with everybody over there, but I've never gone on live. And I was so surprised when he video chatted me to wish me happy birthday. So that was that really was, cool. That is cool. Oh, yeah. that's so, I just, yeah. I like all of them. I mean, I'm cool with all of them, but Gio just feels like my little son. You know, oh, like yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? School him a little bit, but I, I just, I, just something about his energy mm -hmm. um, that I like. And when I come over, to, he always want me to go live, but I don't be looking yes. like this. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, I know because you know, usually my hair is in rollers, but I'm gonna wash it tomorrow, so I took the rollers out. Oh, okay. You got beautiful, um, oh, beautiful. Thank hair. you. It's grown. I mean, that's mine that's how, is down my damn back, and I can't stand it. We listen, we can't get our hair done, we can't get our nails done, we can't do nothing. So it's like I trust, try to keep it safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's gorgeous, though. It's getting on my hair, it's on my nerves. Beautiful. Is it natural? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know yeah, people gonna be coming here like now. I know we were supposed to be talking about Yara and Joe, and they talk about hair and and this and that. But you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad you're here. We might have to go over to my other channel so we can really talk about some like little girly stuff and all that. What do you think about that? I'm fine with that. I'm I'm home now, so I'm just hanging out right now. Well, we're going to take the conversation over to Auntie's Advice Channel for Women. I'll put it down in the thing. And hopefully some other women by that time will fix and dust themselves off. And we can just have a nice little chat and nightcap talking all things, whatever the hell we want to talk about. And, and I'll I, get a real drink. And Okay. <laughs> How long is it going to take you to fix your real drink? Oh, long enough to get some glass and some ice. I already have some. I've been told you I've been in my mother, so I have pre-made margaritas ready. I can just pour it out of the bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the salt. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. We're going to go over there to Auntie's Advice, and we're just going to chit-chat together. All right. That's cool. Love you. All right. So love you there. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. So if you came on and we were just chit-chatting about everything, I apologize. I'll try to remember, if I remember, to put the stop, the time stop in there for the people that don't want to see us chit-chatting. But I love to chit-chat um, with um, my subscribers. So hopefully, ladies, you all will get your hair together and um, come on over there and meet us. All right. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye y'all.